Hey everybody, welcome. So uh, today, Chase is here. Hello, Chase. Hi, everybody. Uh, and so we're going to start drawing one of these creatures that we sketched a few days ago. Um, we might just spin the wheel <laughs> to choose which one. What do you think, Chase? It sounds good. I got the wheel ready. All right, so let me... Where is that? Where is the... Oh, uh... do you, you want me to stream it, or...? Uh Oh, it's it's I mean, the I same. Can... You know what? It's not needed. It's just one, so you can just spin it. I'm going to trust it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to spin it, too, because <laughs> I had it. <laughs> I had it open. Let's see what you get. I'm not going to do mine, but... Okay. Well, okay. I got Pan Goblin. All right, I had... Worm thingy, but let's do pan goblin. Um, All right, sounds good to me. That was kind of the one I wanted you to do anyway. So. <laughs> yeah. So okay, let's see. This is gonna be um, I don't know a generic kind of monster. I don't know exactly what I want to do with it. Um, Hello, dark ray. Dark. Oh, ray, hey there. What's up? Wait, why am I not seeing... I'm not seeing my chat. Why? <laughs> I, I don't, don't know, see... because it's showing up on the stream. Yeah, I don't see it. Oh, no, it's just not in my... Uh... Oh, there you go. Okay. I like Samurai Dragon very much, but not more than White Horse. Okay, White Horse is, is a character from um, uh, Tales of Asperia. Oh, that he yeah, likes yeah. a lot. And he or him and another friend of mine, they have this, they've built this character around it or him that's like smoking a lot for some reason. <laughs> so, uh, all right, so let's duplicate the pan goblin. And uh, should I use this or make a new, you know, I'm gonna make a new one. Hold on. Oops. I'm gonna make a new. Um, I have no reference for this, so obviously it's going to be weird. All right, there you go. I don't know, i got to save it too. Wait, let me save it also. Uh, I think most of your things are weird, so it's all right. Yeah, but not so weird. Okay. So, I want to iterate over this thing a little bit first. <laughs> Because I'm not gonna finish it, obviously. Oh, I. Oh, I have the gray. The gray as well. I copied the gray. No, I just want this. Okay. So uh, I don't know. This is pretty good as a start. Let's see. What can we do? What element could this be? Could it be in the Halloween pack? Hmm. I just think of it as just a normal monster. Hmm. I did send you some Halloween monster ideas. Oh too. yeah, I, I saw that. Right, I forgot to reply. I think um, those are pretty cool. They're just, they're just very basic things, but I do yeah, like but... Gentleman Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, together with the Ghoulie. They could be in the pack. Maybe the that. Uh, That's true. That? Ghoulie would be a good Halloween monster. The the that uh, not the monkey there, not the monkey. The uh, abomination there. Maybe could be a boss. I'm not super fond of the tail of this thing. Um, it's kind of curling. I don't know if I want it to curl. Hmm. Maybe you can cut it here. Let's see what happens if we cut it. Okay. I mean, it's reasonable. This I know there's like nobody here right now, but uh, for anyone watching the VOD later, you missed one hell of a stream with me and Nemo yesterday. It was amazing. <laughs> you mean yours? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was fun. We got to uh, we got to do the Mew glitch, and then afterwards we played Yu-Gi-Oh. And uh, 
uh, Nemo and I played a game after I played a game with somebody else. It was a lot of fun. And then we critiqued card art and talked about uh, how to make <laughs> yeah. decks. So yeah. I started integrating those cards in my deck. Um, but I will, I will open the packs uh, to, to get them later. I'm uh, kind of excited about it, honestly. It's pretty cool. I like the whole blue eyes thing. I think it's uh, my ideal type of deck because I like dragons. And I do not like... Uh, okay, so I also like the um, the cyber dragon type of monsters. Uh, I think uh, Firewall Dragon is one of them, right? No, but that's a good card. <laughs> I know it's a good card. I wanted to add it, but it's nothing to do with the others. I thought it was a cyber one. I have to check. I don't know if... um, I don't think Firewall is still banned. It was banned for a while. Why? Because it's really good. <laughs> uh, Konami, Konami. Yeah, Konami doesn't really understand balance all that well. No, I can tell. Because the game is not balanced at all. <laughs> like, it's not. Though it's I was talking to uh, Nemo before the stream started that I uh, played an Eldritch uh, deck, which is much better than my Rocket deck because Eldliches were like the main deck for a long time in the metagame and I actually ended up beating him and winning. So I got to beat like a very good deck with my not so good deck and that felt pretty good. That's nice. I made a couple of mistakes, but my playing was actually really good. <laughs> oh, I make mistakes all the time. <laughs> well, that's understandable because you're not as familiar as I am. And I haven't played for a long time, but still I should know better to do than some of the mistakes I make. But I'm also not like a top tier player who doesn't have a life. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, those are a little too much, I guess. Yeah, Firewall is not banned. That's cool. Yes. Oh, I, I like the art of that card so much. Like the, the design of the monster. The, uh, the normal art or the alternative art? The, nor the normal one. Uh, the base one. Okay. I think it's the base one. Yeah, the one in the game is the base one. Yeah, the one with the greenish background. It goes on on it's seventy nine bucks on Amazon. Really seventy nine? Jeez, that's a lot of money. What firewall? Yeah, yeah. You can get a a copy of Firewall on TCG Player for six bucks if you want it. <laughs> oh, I, might. I wouldn't buy cards off. Oh, you can't use that. Never mind. Sorry. Why? I thought you said a TCG Player doesn't ship to Italy. Um. Yeah, I, well, I don't think it does, but if it does, I guess it's very expensive. Uh, but there is a, a, a website that sells cards that's similar to that. Uh, it's like card, trading card market or something like that. Okay, I, I dropped out for a second, if you couldn't tell. Um, no, I, I could Yeah, I thought, I, I thought you said that the TCG player doesn't um, ship to Italy. Um, I don't remember exactly if it doesn't or if it's just very expensive to do. I forgot. But I did check, I think, a few days ago. It was just not convenient to do if it did. One thing that really bothers me is um, I, I might be mistaken. I don't think Red Eyes Dark Dragoon is in Master Duel for some reason. And that's, I, I checked it, it's not banned. That's like one of the most, <laughs> that's that's honestly one of the most overpowered cards they've ever made. It's really, really? cool, but yeah. Here, I'm going to read this effect to you because I have it. I actually have the card. I paid like, <laughs> I paid like 50 bucks for it. Just oh, that geez. one card when it first came out. <laughs> yeah. But it's a Dark Magician, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, uh, Fusion Monster. Wow. So it kind of has like, Dark Magician's like armor and staff, but then it has like a tail and wings and whatnot. It's actually really cool looking. Actually, you know what? I can just pull up the image, I guess. But I'll read the effect anyway, because it's kind of hard. It's a very long effect, as Yu-Gi-Oh cards tend to be. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I posted, I posted the uh, card in the chat. 
Um, its effect is cannot okay, be destroyed cool. by card effects. Neither player can target this card with card effects. During your main okay. phase, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. You can use this effect a number of times per turn up to the number of normal monsters used as fusion material for this card. Once per turn, when a card or effect is activated, quick effect, you can discard one card, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card, and if you do that, this card gains 1,000 <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> That's okay, a lot of so... Stuff. <laughs> it can't be destroyed by card effects. You can't target it with card effects. And then if you use two normal monsters, like Dark Magician and Red-Eyes Black Dragon, to fusion summon it, twice per turn, you can destroy one of your opponent's monsters, and then they take damage equal to its attack. So, like, if your opponent has two Blue-Eyes White Dragons on the field, you can just destroy both of them, and then they take 6,000 damage. <laughs> and then, <laughs> whenever they a try to activate a, a card, like if they play Raigeki, you can discard one card, and then you can destroy that card, negate its effect, and then Red-Eyes Dark Dragoon gains 1,000 attack, so it becomes 4,000 attack. And oh, it's nice. permanent. So oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crazy card. People were, like, going nuts and saying it should be banned, and then they banned other things instead, so that was funny. Uh, I'm not a fan of Konami's policy anyway. Uh, especially for the fact that artists are not credited at all. Uh, actually, I was reading about it before. It seems like they have a very strict NDA for which you can't even mention the fact that you are working on cards. That That's my understanding of it too. Yeah, like you can't even talk about working on them. That's insane though. I would never work for uh, those conditions. As far as I know, people figure out who does the designs for the cards just by doing like cross comparisons of their other work, and that's how they figure it out. But like, they never actually, you know, credit them for the art they do. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't like that idea. It's pretty miserable as an artist, <laughs> I guess. It's way worse than. Uh than any other card game's conditions. Uh, oh, by the way, do you know Vanguard? Uh, yeah. <laughs> How is it? I've never played it. Uh, I knew some people that were really into it, but I, I don't know. I just... The game is all about kind of like waifus, from what I can tell. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I saw a few monster cards. Uh, I was wondering if it's... Yeah, I mean, it's literally just kind of like anime waifu cards. Okay, then I'm not interested. <laughs> Actually, here, look at this link. This is from one of like the latest sets of the game. And just look at the cards, and you can tell what kind of demographic they're going for. See. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. There's like uh, no um, monsters. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's probably not, not my game. <laughs> I'm afraid. Yeah, I don't... I really don't understand the appeal of that kind of thing. Okay, like, there's so RPG... Uh, yeah? I was gonna say, there's, like, RPGs where all of the characters and monsters are just kind of, like, cute girls. And it's like, why, why do I want to... Why, why don't I want to fight monsters, you know, and not, like, cute girls? <laughs> it's just so... What, bizarre to me. It is. Ask Cheese. <laughs> So this um, pan goblin has m metallic ears for some reason, <laughs> with blades. It's, they look like wings, but they're not wings. It's gonna be clarified later. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. Just he has the Hawkman head. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess. Uh, this should be a little higher up. Oh, this is the, yeah, okay. Maybe something like that, maybe. Yeah. I think for the rest, it's kind of simple, I guess. I don't know. I could add, so I do have some pangolin photos here, but it's more of a, an armadillo, actually. Armadillo blend. Yeah, know. they're close enough <laughs> yeah i guess 
I do want to start borrowing some design idea f ideas from Yu Gi Oh, though. Like those crazy, crazy stuff that we saw yesterday. Some are very interesting. <laughs> there is a. Uh, I think it's a sculpture. That's pretty gross. Oh, I like an armadillo, man. I don't know if you should show this. It's really gross. If you search armadillo, it's like the fourth row. It's extremely gross, and it goes for six th six thousand bucks. Crazy. <laughs> human har human armadillo hybrid. Um, are you still there? Okay, Chase is gone. Let's wait for him to come back. Oh, real arms to this thing. Maybe some kind of weight. For now, probably better. So, this claims or calls for an anatomical fix. He actually opened my dual masters. Reference, which might be useful to uh, infer some parts, inform some parts of the design. I don't know exactly what I want to do with this one. Like, what sort of creature it has to be? Maybe it's got scales. Maybe scales would be cool. Let's try some scales. And pretty long claws. Okay, uh, sorry about that. I'm back. Welcome back. No worries. Just had to have a chat with somebody real quick. No problem. So I was just saying, I'm trying to figure out what this kind of monster exactly is. So, well, maybe it's got some scales on the forearms or something. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are some... I'm going to use... Uh, Dual masters as a kind of a style of reference from the one, I guess. I don't want to use to abuse Grand Blue too much, also because there's nothing like this, so that would be useless anyway. Whenever I mute my mic, does it come up like does the sound pop on your end? No, okay, just making sure. <laughs> I heard nothing. At all. But yeah, scales. Scales could be interesting. I mean, it doesn't have to be realistic anyway. Who cares? But I do want it to feel crazy Japanese ish. Let's see. If it looks like it has a ponytail. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> It does have a ponytail. I don't know, it's a goblin, so it's got hairs. Or hair. Also hairs somewhere else, I guess. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, I think, why not? It doesn't make sense anyways. 
It's just these are the, like balloon forms. It's just I can I can make up some some muscles, I guess. Some sort of something like that, probably. Always a big fan of the ridge muscles. Okay, something like that is cool. Yeah, why not? Oh yeah, okay, like this. It makes no sense, but it's fine. Chat, where is it? Oops. Okay, there is nobody. Well, it's fine. Sadly, I also oh. forgot. Hmm? I am still here, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Although I'm popping in and out. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Forgot to uh, open the stream on uh, my other tablet, so that's why there's just two and not three viewers. <laughs> uh, but it's okay. Okay, well maybe I should modify this so slightly and make that arm a little shorter. Well, I understand that you, the uh, the affiliate one of the conditions is uh, you have to have an average of three viewers yeah. every stream. That's uh, it's kind of annoying. But unfortunately, it's really mine. Reasons. Yeah, that's true. But unfortunately, mine is like two point two right now, and uh, I don't have enough subscribers. But I have fulfilled the other two <laughs> affiliate uh, mm -hmm. conditions. So there's that. I mean, it's still something. It's better than nothing. So, these arms too different in length. I'm gonna shorten this. I'm gonna turn it. Oh, you got 44 followers now. I don't know who followed since. Uh, someone followed yesterday, to... apparently, but silently. Because I didn't see the, the pop up, so. So this is probably covering a little bit of that. It's stretching a little. It's some sort of armor that stretches, let's pretend. I don't know if I want to add those. What do you think about those spikes? The original head. On the back? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, it might fill it out a bit more in the back. I could. I'm not sure yet. We'll see if I can think of something to add there. It just depends on where you're going with the front, so that way it's not too lopsided in terms of design. Yeah, right. That was something I was thinking about when I sent you that Gentleman Jack concept, is I wish I... Uh, I switched the legs around because <laughs> I have him yeah. doing this little pose and he's got like his right leg behind his left leg like he's leaning but then he also has his um th this the uh the right arm behind his back and I wish I switched the legs to give it a little more uh, yeah yeah that's know, why I'm thinking I'm symmetry. actually thinking about uh maybe lowering uh his right leg and pulling up the other we'll see But yeah, the general idea behind that posing was um, it's like he's getting ready to bow to you because he's a gentleman. And then while right. he's bowing or doing a curtsy, he <laughs> sticks the knife in your gut. <laughs> oh, nice. That's so nice. Who oh, wouldn't love to meet such a gentleman? And he's got a pumpkin carving knife, which he used to make his own face. <laughs> I think I'm going to need a pumpkin sort of monster. Something pumpkin-ish. Plenty of pumpkin monsters, that's for sure. Actually, there's plenty of Yu-Gi-Oh ones, too. Oh, yeah. I saw that. What's the um, pendulum monster? Let me think. Well, obviously there's Pumpkin, but I was thinking of the cutesy one. <laughs> I 
Oh, there is plenty of reference for that. Uh, yeah. In terms of pumpkin monsters and pumpkin in general. <laughs> um, I just don't want it to be... And then, well, yeah, maybe a Jack in the Box. Oh, yeah, Ghost Trick Lantern is a pretty cool one. The Strict Lantern. Here. <laughs> so that way you don't have to look it up. Ooh, let me see. Uh. Oh, no, wait, I got it wrong. Okay, this is pretty cool. Hey, it's actually interesting. Very nice design. Let me show it. Oh. Very nice design. Cute. This is actually well done. Well done design. Nice colors too. It's very far from the original Yu-Gi-Oh cards, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That wasn't the one I was thinking of, but I think that one's actually better. <laughs> This goblin kind of has a, a dragon-ish face <laughs> for some reason. And let's see what we can do with this leg. Um, so the or armor. to avoid dragons. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's a generic like lizard sort of face. I guess it's fine. I mean they're the monster of all monsters. Yeah. Oh, it's the Emperor of Cheese. No joke for me today. Oh, I'm disappointed. Since when do you have jokes? <laughs> <laughs> He's a jokey person. No, oh, I can't identify with that at all. <laughs> Um, let me get it. Maybe the Dale do it. I don't know, you know, it's, it's simple. Also, because this is a pretty simple monster anyway. I should probably change the title to Pen Goblin. Although, I don't, I don't know if that's gonna prompt some strange people to come over because of the pen word. <laughs> How is yeah, everything? It's fine, I'll oh, okay. change. I don't change the name of my stream, so as somebody complained about last night. Yeah, <laughs> they did. <laughs> they did actually. Playing uh... Yu-Gi-Oh, he comes in and says, "Well, this isn't a Mew glitch." Yeah, no kidding, buddy. I, I, I'm, I don't want to change my title, so deal with it. <laughs> uh, it's fine. How's everything? Uh, I don't have any water today, so yeah. I know that feeling anyway. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> it's not nice. Uh, I hope it comes back. Soon. So that you can shower at least. <laughs> uh, this leg is too short, but I can have... You can have draconic feet like I had in the original idea. So this is much of a much of a fork. That's heartbreaking, but hopefully you find some. Well, I've got plenty of bottle of water, so if I need to take a shower, I'm good to go. <laughs> okay. That's good at least. Um so let me figure out how would I do that. So this would have to start a little higher. And then go into here. And then probably something like that large. The small feet were nice. It's lost something of the original though, which I do not like. Uh, 
First, I'm going to shrink this. I'm going to shrink the biceps here, and then lean around it in a little more. Something like that. And how are you, cheese? We're still waiting for you in the voice chat someday, you know? Yeah, and thanks for coming for, to uh, my stream last night, Cheese. I guess this one was due. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I'm certainly going to put it into a card also once it's finished. Or onto a card. Oh, there we go. They turned my water back on. Thank you, City. Ooh. Okay, that's good. That's good news. So, <laughs> problem described and resolved in a single episode of the Nemo Show. That's fast. I've been without water for two days last time. <laughs> We're not very well. Efficient. When you give a threatening attitude to people <laughs> it probably helps but i did i usually do that's what i do usually that's why they don't like me in japan because i always do that i am very uh, unfriendly so uh uh you're well cheese and i'd like to join but i have to step out in a few minutes and you're welcome chase okay let's stream a cool glitch they always cut off the water in Japan? No, but they do other annoying things. Which I'm not going to mention now enough to turn the stream to yet another complaint about Japan. <laughs> Rant. Rancy. Yeah, because we didn't do that at all yesterday, and I think we should keep up the streak. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Uh, or not. Man. And if I have any hope of getting a Japanese girlfriend, I can't let her listen to me on these streams while you're bad mouthing them. So, <laughs> um, if she doesn't bad mouth bad mouth them, then she's probably not going to be worth it. <laughs> she's going to do those things. So, and you don't want that. You really don't want that. Trust me. You really. Seriously, don't want that. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, it's not fun. Any yeah, stretch of the imagination. <laughs> okay, it's gonna have two toes. Two toes. Two toes goblin. Because uh, I fancy so, I guess. Just two toes, not three? No, two. And uh, the outer toe is going to be shorter. Or maybe you can have like a smaller toe like here. Something like that. Yeah. It's like a draconic. Draconic goblin. Could be the name. Although it sucks. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I like the small toe there. Chase and his ongoing pursuit for a Japanese girlfriend. We should document this. Uh, you're not one to talk, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> true. I know for a fact that it is true. You cannot talk about this. Maybe it should be the other way around. Well, I like it this way. It's kind of turn inward a little bit. Inwards. So it's going to be... So it's going to have... One here and the other there. Something like that, like a tab. It's like birds. Hounds. I guess, I don't know. I cannot, cannot give him shoes, obviously. It. Although it would be funny. It would become one of those joke monsters that we're doing in the special stream. So, you never pursued a Japanese girl. Um, um, I mean, it is not 100% correct. 
I know Nemo would know better than I would, but uh, I find that difficult to believe. That is not 100% correct. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was also involved in that. So I know <laughs> that it did happen. So who, well, who are you trying to fool? Like every stream, Cheese is always talking about how we should go to Japan, and I just assumed that that wasn't for like the best reasons. So <laughs> this is just for for documentary purposes. Maybe when Vice Vice was actually good. Vice, you mean actual Vice, like vices? No, oh, he no, means the Vice media. Okay, the media. The media, okay. I'm not very familiar with that. Just the they media. had some underground documentaries on niche things. It can be like that, but Chase looking for a girlfriend. Well, I hate to break this to you, buddy, but a white guy looking for an Asian wife is not a niche thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly. Might have been. No, it's to go sightseeing. Well, what uh, what do you want to see in Japan then? Other oh. than the women. I know, I get, which, I mean, they're not so cute anyway, to go there. Uh, they're just normal. Most of them are just normal. <laughs> so, there is that to say. How is the, the body of the armadillo? Okay. Oh, would it be? Okay, I should have covered the... Maybe I can cover the shoulders. Like an actual armadillo. Um... But the mid part of the body could be like this. Oh, this is actually good. What do you think, Chase? Like making it like a armadillo-ish midsection? Like banded? Yeah. Kind of looks like um, a slinky. <laughs> it looks like a shirt right now. <laughs> but... Sure. Uh... <laughs> Like a wet shirt. Uh, it's like a wife beater or something. Could <laughs> <laughs> uh, be. I mean, look at this, him. <laughs> this goblin's a drunk and he lives in a trailer. <laughs> in a trailer, in but a trailer we'll, park. But we'll add a flair to it. My goodness, guys, I can't come up with everything, okay? And, well, I'd like to see the countryside, Tokyo, and if there ever was time, Hokkaido. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd like to go to Tokyo just to visit it and see what's there. Um, Not much. It's just a city. <laughs> I don't think I would go to another country just to visit the countryside, though. Because pl plenty of countries have countrysides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I, I mean, is like the countryside in Japan really like that much better than the countrysides in other countries no um it's nice okay it's nice i have to admit some parts of are nice there is something very peculiar about it uh the color of everything so grass mm. is incredibly green i don't know why it's like very green maybe because it's so humid but like here it's I know it's not like super bright green, but in Japan I've seen like super, super, especially in the, in the spring, super green uh, forests, say, even bushes. So that is kind of peculiar about it. Oh yeah, cheese. I'm not saying um, like I'm not attacking that or anything. Like I, I'd like to see the cherry blossoms too. I just don't know if I want to spend thousands of dollars to just see cherry blossoms. Oh yeah, I was looking at um, some tickets, uh, like if I want my family here, that's gonna be three thousand bucks. Yeah, and, and it's a lot of money, especially um, post COVID. <laughs> because because of COVID, uh, yeah, actually, so it's hard. But they are they are slowly realizing that not allowing tourism 
in the country is pretty bad for economy. <laughs> yeah, from what I understand, they make a uh, a lot of money through tourism, so that's not a good yeah. choice. Yeah, so they are rethinking their policy about not, you know, letting anyone into the country and kind of easing the restrictions a little bit. Uh, hopefully they will, because I need it. We have to open it up so that the tourists can go to the Puff Puff hotels. I mean, that's still revenue they have. Uh, yeah, but they get a lot more. <laughs> a lot of their entertainment machine is a is producing tourism so they get a lot of revenue out of that but right now nobody can go unless it's in a, on a tour a guided tour and just in groups so they're thinking of using it and allowing people to come um only with a, a specific um schedule like if it's being booked through a travel agency which is ridiculous. Like, like why? <laughs> What's the difference anyway? I mean, they're still coming in, and, and if they have a virus, it's it's the the virus. It's the same thing as a single person just not booking through the, the agency. It's not like it's gonna make it different, like the agency. Oh well. Yeah, no problem, cheese. Just make sure you come back and don't leave us. <laughs> yeah, please. Please, cheese. Don't leave. Okay. Somebody else is here. Uh, if you'd like to chat, go ahead. We're very nice people. We'll re we respond to chats. Yeah, I am. He is not, but... <laughs> it's yeah. usually me, because e Nemo is usually working on the art, so I have to be here to help uh, make sure he's aware of comments. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Especially um... the YouTube ones, because those tend to go by the wayside sometimes. <laughs> I admit that is true. Um, okay, I'm not displeased in how it's turning out. I don't know about those things in the back, though. Hmm. Eh. It's not too lopsided now. I mean, it's kind of kind of like him. Although, there, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of negative space on the left side, though. There is. What did I do? I'm going to move this tail a little bit. There is. Let me flip it. Maybe I can use some of this. Maybe you can have the tail curl the other way. Like, super long tail, like that? Well, like, I uh, curl it upwards, so it's, like, almost curling against its back. Like this? No, I'm saying take the tail and, like, reverse it. Oh. Oh, I don't know. That would be... Uh... No, I think that's going to be a little too... Weird. It's, like... That's that really is like a dragon. That, no, I don't know. Mm, I could remove the tail altogether, actually. Uh, you could, yeah. I can maybe duplicate this. I can get rid of. Okay, let's try some crazy liquefy stuff. Also, because anyway, that. It's bigger than this, so what if it's got... Oh, it's not doing it. Can I reset these settings? Or not? Restore all. Oh, no, I can't. Why? <laughs> Piece of junk. Um, I don't know. Like this? Okay. I mean, this might work better, because if the idea is that it gets a pan pangolin or uh, an armadillo, I guess it would, like, roll up into a ball at times. Yeah, but it might also have some spikes or something. I guess. Oh, I just feel like all the momentum of the drawing is going to the lower left right now. It is. 
So we could just do this and now it's going to the top right. <laughs> I guess. Uh, no, it needs something there, I agree though. But um, it could be cool to just do this. Just actually cover it. Probably a little better like that. It's a little like a linear module. And then maybe you can have uh, some spikes in the back. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so this probably comes in like this. Okay, I kind of like this idea. Honestly. What do you think? It reminds me of Anguirus, so yes, I agree. Who's that? The Godzilla monster with the spikes on his back. He can roll up into oh. a ball and hit his enemies with the spikes as a spike ball. Do something like that, maybe? Okay, yeah, I think that looks better. It's really simple though. What if I... I like this... Um, accidental spike here. Which might also be on the other side. So if we get rid of the new ones they added. Let's see how it looks. I feel like those are a little too simple, too classic, I guess. Um, what, the ones you had before? Yeah, the, the normal spikes. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. They kind of seem out of place on this design. <laughs> yeah. I think it needs something a little more spicy. Oh. I could even, I could even turn Ben Teal, but I'm sure that it's not looking too bad. But it might need a little bit of a change there. Um, you could have something crazy. I don't know what's new. what kind of shape can it have here. Wings. <laughs> Oh, I know! Man brains! Look at the membranes here! <laughs> yeah, let's put a membrane between the spikes. That sounds good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to look up some stuff. Okay, I've got my, my Dual Masters reference here. This has got to be something that I can use uh, as an idea. Because um, this, this might be a little too simple right now. What if it's... Mm. So first this. I don't, I don't even know what this is. That's you could just have them poking out, like all over the place. Bikes? Yeah, you know, like uh, maybe when it rolls up into a ball, it looks like one of those sea mine things. Sea mine? Oh, yeah, actual you know the, mines? Uh, the ones that explode? Yeah, 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 here. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. Um, I don't want it to look too too artificial, <laughs> though. Yeah, okay. Um, that's exactly what I was thinking about. <laughs> um, I think it might need... So the good point of that was that they were on each side. But now I have the design curving down because of the because of the uh, uh, armadillo things, armor, sort of. So that's not going to work. Um, I need something that curves or sticks out from the side. Mm. What could that be? Just spikes like that? I mean, be. 
some Duel Masters cards have it. Like random spikes coming out like that. Um, so let me get rid of these. They're too simple. And not add. You know, when you when you don't know what to add, just add spikes, like hordes. Hmm. Oh, it's kind of defeating the whole ability zone. Maybe the armadillo thing would be a good idea. I still have the previous one, right? Yeah. What if we take this? Let's compare them. So, take this, duplicate this. Um, I wonder if Cheese left the lurk because we still have five people. Well, I think we went to go get something to eat or something. Yeah, might be lurking. I like the fact that it's so, you know, diagonal like this, but it's kind of weird because of that. Uh, so it's like pushing or pulling one shoulder back. So. See what happens when you're not prepared. <laughs> Do the spikes need to be gigantic? Why don't you just make a bunch of little spikes? Um, because otherwise they're still not gonna break the design up. Like it's it's still not it's still gonna feel a little bit lopsided. I guess. So you mean something like. For some reason, I've never been a huge fan of small spikes. They could work. Though. Wow. <laughs> well, like Nemo, th Nemo thinks size matters, folks. <laughs> oh, I think. Oh, huh. uh, I don't think that looks too bad. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting. If anything, a little constipated. <laughs> as a design. I don't know. I feel like it could be pushing some more crazy stuff. I'm not sure what, though. I don't know. I think the head's kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this could, these could be blades. What if he... Oh! Okay. What if he's got... these sort of blades here. <laughs> I mean, why not? Now, where is this blade in, <laughs> hey, I don't know. in proportion to his body? I don't it's know. Little... <laughs> oh, come on, in the arm, in the arm. Oh, okay, I thought, okay. <laughs> it, it is in the arm. Come on. Uh. <laughs> okay, that's equivocal. Okay, so let's, let's remove it. I'm sorry, Nemo, but if I thought that other people would do. Yeah, other people like you, <laughs> I guess. Do you remember, uh, do you remember Reshiram, the Pokemon? Yeah. It's design? <laughs> remember the, uh, I what do. they did with the spur? Okay, yeah. I do. That was an unfortunate design choice on their part. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's just put a bunch of fur on its groin that it sticks out. And <laughs> uh, no, I want to add something though. Um, okay, what? If, okay, what if they're here? Okay, they start a little higher. Then this is going to be better, right? What about something like this? a little crazier what do you think so like it's part of the shell yeah okay 
Just exploring here. Just exploring, folks. Just exploring. You should do a rolled up version. <laughs> oh, so that it has like two stages. Right. That could like be this is it's more a this is it's more attack and then like when it's threatened it goes into its like defensive posture. It could be. In that case it's just like it's very simple to do. Just like this. There you go. That's it. Easy. Maybe if ponytail sticks out and when it's a ball, you can grab it and swing it around like a mace. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Uh, probably not. Um, <laughs> and I really, I really want to add some kind of blades or blading, blading. Maybe something like that. Oh, this is not too bad. This is not too bad. We're breaching the, the gap between my previous stuff and Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> At this point, probably. Uh, some famous cards that have blades sticking out of everywhere. Oh man, it's like you're a kid again letting Yu-Gi-Oh! influence your designs. Um, yeah, it's not a bad thing though. Honestly, I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, so this would end up here. So this would be this. Um, not bad. It just doesn't make much sense. I mean, it's, it's gonna be just blades. <laughs> um, I don't feel too bad about it. It does, uh, it does help the balance of the image, I'll say that. Yeah. Obviously they need to be refined a little bit. Just, just kind of blades sticking out from the- Maybe they are on the arm, actually. Just they just stick out of the armor. Um. Hmm. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Facing each other and fighting. Um, it's not a bad idea. Also, because it goes like against, so there is just it's like basically this, and these go against it. So it's kind of dynamic. It's just this, and then these kind of sticking out. It's not bad. So, are the blades part of the shell, or are they like something that's hidden under the shell that it can reveal? You ask me difficult questions, boy. Because I kind of like the idea that it has the shell and it has like hidden blades it can reveal under it. That could also be, I guess. Um, or maybe it's just on one side. Maybe I can get rid of the pine tail. Oh, not black then. And not red. Um. Maybe it's just uh, something like this. Uh, so this would end up, let's see, this is like this. This is like here, probably. And then it'd be something like this. Probably. Cause I like that your original sketch has a monkey tail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or a mutail, whatever you want to think of it as. Mutail? You could have a mutail. It doesn't even look bad, honestly. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know about the blades, also because the perspective here is kind of tricky, so I would have to do this probably the other way, slightly the other way, something like that. Mm. I would bring the end of the tail a little to the left. Like closer to the body? I'm yeah, like the the end of the tail is looking a little lopsided again. It is. 
Yeah, let's leave it as it was. Kill us a rotator. Maybe you're rotating it a little bit. Would it help? Yeah. Yeah, I think this rotation works a little better. Um, I don't know. I have to figure this out with the with the blades. I have to figure it out today, obviously. <laughs> now, can you imagine I actually did that card in two hours the other day? I find it hard to believe. I'm it sure is, video you, the video is up. Cool. The video is up. You can look at it. It's What's the name up. of the channel? No, it's the same. Uh, he, my channel. I, I put up um, a time lapse. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I might leave it. Cute little good. mascot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Typhoon. Even though you said you didn't like it. <laughs> Uh, the mas mascot. You said you could have done better, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's not great. It's kind of plagiarized <laughs> a little bit. Um, From what? Uh, Grand Blue. Their mascot. Well, I mean, what specifically? Verb. Oh, okay. Verb. Verb. Uh, yeah. Um, how we got it like this. Burn, voiced by Rie Kugimiya. Oh, what a nice name. Oh, God. <laughs> Played a voice sample. I never did. I don't know how it sounds. <laughs> Is it annoying? Well, I mean, do you like it when Japanese women use childish voices? No. <laughs> and you wouldn't like it. Vern okay. likes apples and dislikes unruly children. <laughs> what about horns like this? Ooh, like devil horns. Yeah. I don't know. I like the idea of the blades, but maybe this looks better here. That's the previous one. I don't know. Um... Kind of reminds me of a bull. <laughs> Too much? Maybe like, maybe it rolls up and like it uh, tackles somebody and hits them with the bull horns. Yeah, blades work better. Let's leave blades. You want to leave the blades? Okay. Listen, I'm coming up for justifications for the things you put, so <laughs> <laughs> you can feel free to ignore me. No, 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 no. Uh, add some spice to the blades to roll forward. Design, maybe. Something like that. Maybe you can have some others sticking out of somewhere here. Or maybe the blades are too much. I don't know, it looks like uh, the Evangelion with those things. And it's also in the wrong position, because it would have to. Probably be yeah, you're right. <laughs> it does look like. <laughs> so, I'm probably gonna leave it without just just with the small spikes is probably fine. I just need to find. I want to find something that's stupid, crazy Japanese-ish, and add it, and then uh, and then I'm gonna render it because <laughs> I feel like it's not crazy enough. It's gonna be something that's. Stupid Japanese crazy that I can add. Oh, okay. I mean, they could be shorter and larger. Just a little better. While you do that, I'm gonna look at the Duel Masters wiki and see if I could come up with an idea. That's why we need to implement the um, the wheel. <laughs> like, what can I add to this monster? Let's spin it. 
Um, okay, that's, this is not bad. I did like the circles more. Just the circles. I might have another one. Oh, teardrop spikes, like Hershey's Kisses. <laughs> I, I guess. Uh, or, um... Or maybe just round, 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 like circles. It's just... That's just a patch. Different color patch on something. Or they could be little hemispheres, protruding parts. On it. Okay, I kind of like that. Yeah, okay, why not? That stays. That one stays. And then for the, the actual back, um, a fan. <laughs> no, that's what I did with the sketch. Uh, membranes, we said no, no membranes. Um, Welcome back, Emperor of Cheese. Welcome back. So where were we? Yeah, we're still kind of brainstorming this design. Yeah, we've been going through a couple iterations while you were gone. What are the what are the circles supposed to be? Uh, nothing. Oh no, just circles. It's giving me carbuncle vibes. Well, you're welcome, Cheese. A little bit, so we can add a horn here or a jewel. I think I actually was influenced by the carbuncle thing when I when I drew the sketch. So I'm not going to add the jewel in the middle, but it's going to have jewels here, maybe. And I need something else here. So, cheese, what do you think I can add to the back? Because it feels a little empty right now. The middle one. You like this? Seriously? What do you think? Chase. Oh, hello there, Radio Boy Shen. Oh, hey there. What are we drawing? Uh, we are trying to come up with a good design for this uh, armadillo sort of monster. It's a pan golem goblin. A pan goblin. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about the spikes, Cheese? And also, Radio Boy Shin, how do you feel about the spikes? I, I don't, don't, don't even... Wait, 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 wait. You, you, you cut off, Chase. Wait a second. Okay, try now. Hello? Yeah, you're back. Oh, did I cut out while I was reading his chat? Yeah, you, you went really robotic. Okay. Uh, is it so, land based yeah. or sea based? This is, um, I guess, land based. Yeah. This one is land based. Yeah, I gotta fix the position of the head a little bit. Cheese, I don't know. I think it, like the middle one, it's just missing something. That's a little empty. It's like a, it, it has a, a shirt, like you know when uh, when a girl, like. Pulls up the shirt a little bit and makes a knot. There's nothing there. The abs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> like, add fins on it, and I can see it being in the sea. Well, I think that's because of the hands, probably. Yeah. They look kind of sea creatures. Yeah, they look but... like. Uh, but we already did a lot of sea creatures, so probably not. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm probably. I don't like the the spikes, the small spikes in this lid. I can get away without. I think we can get away without the spikes. Um, we can add the mew tail again. But we can curl back in the back, but then it becomes a sort of dragon. Really, like I said before. Let's see. What if we do this? Yeah, <laughs> the face already looks like a dragon, though. <laughs> yeah, but 
it's a goblin, as you know. Like very, very slender. right, but the face looks like a dragon. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I can make it look like a goblin a little more. I know I like the face. It's just like if you're gonna bumps do the tail obviously. or like circles onto it, uh, like just just bumps, like lumps. Mm, that might work. Oh, I. Th That's not bad. I idea. think the reason why I think it's sea base is because of the fin ears. Well, they're, they're actually more like wings. <laughs> <laughs> they're more like wings, yeah. Uh, okay, I think these work. I think these work, honestly. Yep. I'm liking those, like the lumps. What do you think, Chase and Cheese? I could see it rolling up and like the bumps help it go over rocky terrain, that kind of yeah. thing, maybe. Okay, yeah, good idea, Radio Boy Shin. And kill Source Vibes, say kind of. Uh, I can also make him normal years eventually. I don't know. Let's try it actually. Or, okay, go what about this? Look at this. <laughs> Sometimes I do this, I just flip it and look at what happens. <laughs> This could be uh, some legit monster. That looks like a Lovecraftian horror monster. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty intense. Look at that. Oh, this is cool. This could be like a front facing monster. Eldritch Horror Gun. <laughs> a demented, demented ladybug. <laughs> also. Also, look. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, look at that! There is an alien here. Look at the alien, like the alien from the, yeah. movie, the alien movie. That's pretty cool. Anyway, sometime one day I will do it. I will take one of my monsters, the line art, and I will flip it horizontally and then uh, overlay it on, on the previous one. So. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see what happens with the normal ears variant. Um, I mean, we could go. Geez, did you get to see the uh, the drone that Nemo made for me? I don't think you got to see it yesterday. I could show it. So, I think it just right um, here. I, I think the normal ears kind of work also. He's like a gremlin. Yeah. Although, okay, there's a bit of perspective issue right now, because this year should probably be like that. Yeah, why not? Um, okay, it's a goblin, so obviously your rings. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like it's not Japanese enough, but I guess it's fine. Because otherwise, we, we could add back, you know, <laughs> or or skate. I'm gonna bring out my sketchbook. I feel like doing some drawing now. Radio Boy Shen, you should join our Discord. If oh you want yeah. To uh, if you do exclamation mark Discord, or I can do it, or you can do a chase if you want exclamation mark Discord. I'll do it. Oh, it can have look. It's got it's got skis. Look at that. It's got skis. No, shut up, Streamlabs bot. <laughs> I'm having trouble functioning as intended. What? Why? No, it's, it's, it's being dumb. Okay. <laughs> it works. It works. Um, I kind of like the normal ears. I'm not sure about the earring, but all of my goblins have earrings, so why not? I guess it's fine. Then maybe we can change the tail a little bit. Maybe you can remove the tail. Maybe we could remove the tail. Or or like Chase says said. It's too much. Nah, I kinda like it. Uh, I could add it on top though. Let's see if I can 
I would make a joke about the one earring, but I already made my politically incorrect joke <laughs> to choose this week. So. Yeah. Uh, okay, you can have two. Or one he. Oh! <laughs> On the nose. Why not? Oh, man. It's an American white girl. Got the nose ring. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, that yeah, there we go. Goth girl, Pan Goblin. I mean, it fits. <laughs> that would have worked better if it still had the um, <laughs> the uh, the bullhorns on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Uh, I keep getting the the curve of the tail wrong. Jeez. Yeah, uh, really. Like, how many tails have you drawn in your life? Come on. Not so many. I find that hard to believe. Ah. Nemo is a fan of tail. Uh, well, tails. Tails are off the game, I guess. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter. I, f I do feel like it's a little squeezed, though. So I probably want to stretch the leg out. Further. In fact, I'm looking at one of your designs right now and it's got a tail i mean most most of them have a tail i guess your wolf design the wolf the one with the big shoulder blades <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't even know what that is they just use it in in grand blue so so we have a big problem here the tail has a it's like has a tangent with the uh, the the forearm here, so it looks like the tail is this. Does this? If you take the red, that's a bit of a problem here. Well, what would fix it? Hey, what would fix it? Uh, two things, making some space for the tail so making it like this so it's a little thinner that kind of fixes it a little bit creating a white space although it kind of a, the problem with the white space there is that it attracts a little bit of attention composition wise i might just leave it it's just, or i could i could add uh you know spikier and elbow there it doesn't really make sense but something like that probably works yeah it's a pretty busy area here we got three shapes we got this this or actually this two four and this so it's not pretty i can hide this foot and or the foot can be in the back so Welcome seven viewers on Twitch right now. Ooh. If you are not subscribed and, and, and to Nemo's channel, please do. To leave, as always. <laughs> yes. As usual, everyone comes in at the end. It's okay. They can see the VOD anyway. So But listen, Nemo Nemo only needs six more followers before he hits affiliate status. So please follow the channel if you're not already. Absolutely. Please do. Uh okay, I'm not hundred percent convinced. I might rework it later. But I guess let's go with this one. It could be much worse. You know, it could have fur. <laughs> and the earring. And the horns. So, I guess that leg sticks out of there. It's going to vanish. It's not good practice. So usually you should have some sort of indication of that thing as well. But it's still better than having both legs like this. I think because if I do that, so if I make it long enough to, to be visible on that side, it's 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 really like falling, like it's falling this way. <laughs> so I think this is not too bad uh, of a design. It could be better, but it could also be much worse, depending on what you add and how you lean politically. <laughs> I guess. Uh, but 
this is now let's throw the urine okay this is a good base yeah we're gonna do this it's fine drag goblin drag goblin okay you must getting trash and let's go <laughs> huh yeah I see that <laughs> um okay let's stop here um Right here and tomorrow. Yeah, uh, let's know. go for another hour. No, no, no. To, okay, it, also, it got stuck. Look at that. So I'm gonna stop here. Uh, and tomorrow, probably gonna start uh, detailing this thing or rendering it. Um, I don't think it's gonna take too long. And maybe, maybe after this one, we can work on some Halloween monsters. It's not Halloween yet. So, I don't know, I could work on the Halloween monsters when it's actually Halloween, or I could get the pack ready for when it's Halloween. That's that's why I recommended it now, so that way you could have it ready for Halloween. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll see. But first, let's, let's work on this dude here, and let's try to finish it. All right. So, uh, that's all, folks. Will you do Inktober? Probably not, because I would have to do it digitally. I don't enjoy it digitally too much. Uh, I mean, maybe I will do it on my own, but I can't film it. So probably not. I might post it. I might post some stuff that I do. Monstober, probably. So, yeah. All right. So let's stop here. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining. Seven people. It's incredible. Uh, uh, we also linked to the discord there so feel free to join if you want if you're just you know lurking and watching it's fine and we're gonna see you tomorrow with the continuation of this thing